Welcome in to the MISL Weekend Review. My name is Nicholas Murray. Very pleased to be joined by Chris Economides. And Chris, big game of the weekend, as we expected, was the Missouri Comets against the Milwaukee Wave. And we got the game we were anticipating in the playoff rematch for last season. How about the Wave coming back from six point down to win in overtime on the road at the Comets' home opener? They just picked up right where they left off last year, Nicholas. Unbelievable game. Great crowd, sellout crowd in Missouri. You know, Missouri jumps out to a you know to a, to a big lead. They're up by six points in the last you know two 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 minutes and fifty seconds. You know, the old Sly Fox Keith Tozer somehow finds a way to tie up the match, and then uh, Ian Bennett uh, on the restart wins it in overtime. But what a great way to start the season! Great way to start the season as well for the defending champion Baltimore Blast. Go into Rochester, take a nice, comfortable 19 to 8 victory, and Marco Mangione stepping up with the hat trick. We talked last week about some new faces needing to step in to fill the absences from the Blast roster last season. Mangione was the man to fill the bill in the first first week of the season. Well, first off, kudos to the to the Lancer organization. Great crowd, great atmosphere there. You know, Sam Fantuzzo and his staff just do a tremendous job there. You know, I was fortunate enough to be at the match, and it was just a just a great atmosphere. Elliot Fowski scores the first goal. The place goes nuts there. They've got all the Mohawks going on in the crowd. Um, you know, but Baltimore, you know, true to their form, sign of a champion, held their composure, you know, bided their time, came back, and it was just a shooting gallery. And Pat Hannigan, who, who played very, very well, but again, the, the Baltimore attack was just relentless. Now, speaking of relentless, Syracuse pretty relentless in their opening game of the season on the road against the Penroy. You were at that game as well. Opened the scoring after 12 seconds, and it seemed as though they were very comfortable. They were able to keep the ball at arm's, arm's length. Did feel as though, as the game went on, though, the expansion franchise, finding its feet a little bit, came into the game a little bit more in the second half. Reason for optimism there for Pennsylvania? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I mean, the crowd wasn't, you know, the greatest, but still, I mean, you know, Andrew Haynes and Glenn Goldstein, they did a great job there. Very nice facility in the Santander Arena there. Um, you know, typical expansion team mistakes. You know, they're getting to know the indoor game. Um, you know, they, ha they have some veterans. Peter Pappas played phenomenally well. Uh, Tom Myers had their, had their first goal in their history. Uh, but Syracuse is obviously, you know, a well-doiled machine now in their third year. Michelle Mill was going to make a huge difference for that team. He stepped right in like he had been part of that team for, you know, for eons. Played very, very well. I believe he scored their first goal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Syracuse looked really, really good. Yeah, about about what you would expect from a you know from a third year franchise with an expansion franchise. Well, we'll find out more about Syracuse this weekend when they take on their three way rival, the Rochester Lancers. For more on that, join us later in the week for the MISL Weekly Podcast and on Friday for the MISL Weekend Preview. Until then, my name's Nicholas. Thanks to Chris. Bye for now.